So I'm here with uh, Brian Bohm of Electric Power Systems to talk about this system behind us. So Brian, can you tell us what this is behind you? This is a propulsion system for an electric aircraft. It's designed for a DA-40 and uh, it will have approximately an hour's worth of flight time with a 30 minute reserve. So which part of the system, what we see here, is from Electric Power Systems? and where's the rest of it come from? Electric power system specializes specifically in battery systems. So all of the batteries are our custom design, something that we specialize in and uh, uh, specially certified products. Mm -hmm. And uh, we also produce some of the other components that feed into that battery system that include the, it's called uh, the battery power module unit, or it's the, it, essentially the battery management system that takes care of the cell safety and the cell health and monitoring parameters within the modules. Yeah. And then there's also some other components like something we call the midpoint disconnect. It's a safety device that disconnects the portion uh, or splits the pack into multiple pieces for safe, op safe maintenance operations and also to lock out the system during maintenance operations. Yeah. And then everything that you see on this demonstration or on this display unit it, it was our own custom fabrication with the exception of the motor that we partner with a company called Safran, many have heard of, and uh, the, the propeller and spinner are, are components that we buy off the shelf. But everything else that you see is uh, something that we've designed uh, and fabricated and built. So the batteries are the bit at the top and then there's some leads going back which will go to what I understand you call a string of batteries. Correct. So how, 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 how many batteries altogether? Yeah, so one distinction that, uh, that I should make is the, the difference between our experimental plane, our own EP Systems experimental plane, which uh, we're, we're designing uh, and installing and testing. Uh, and, and that is very similar to what Diamond is producing uh, that's called their EDA-40. Uh, ours has a single string of batteries, theirs will have two strings of batteries, uh, and theirs has custom integration into the airframe uh, that was more difficult for, for us to be able to do without access to uh, the, their, design, their uh, prints and the designs of the airplane. So we opted for a simpler setup to prove out everything in a single string. As, as you mentioned, the, the leads that run out to the back of the plane go to the other half. So the first nine modules are installed on the display behind me up in the, the, the firewall forward area. And then the remaining nine batteries are in the passenger uh, compartment area, uh, comprising a total of 18 of our battery modules. Right, so does, this, does an electric aircraft like this have a throttle? Like, do you fly it with a throttle? Yeah, it does. It has a th throttle. It looks just like the, the regular throttle on the aircraft. Yeah. And uh, uh, it operates very much like you would expect a, a internal combustion version to operate. Uh, just that you get full torque as you uh, move the lever forward and, uh, and very quiet operation relative to the internal combustion. Yeah. So as well as getting sort of 90 minutes of endurance, you know, 60 plus 30 reserve, um, what sort of performance are you going to get out of it? Is it going to, what sort of climb performance do you expect for, for an aircraft? It will actually be very similar to its gas counterpart, which was really by design to give the, the plane the same feel as the internal combustion plane uh, in terms of power and uh, performance, about 170 horsepower. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, uh, one, one difference that uh, you might know with a, an electric aircraft is that the, there's no change in performance as you climb in elevation. Uh, uh, and, and in this plane, we're not planning to do any inverted flying, but uh, it, it, some people that we've talked here at the show that are interested in electric aircraft for performance uh, and sport applications because there's there's no change in uh, in the the oil position, the, the fuel, the orientation, the tanks. Uh, yeah. There are no fuel tanks; it's just batteries, of course. When do you expect to have something going into production that people can buy? Very soon. Uh, I mean, th this is slated for uh, the very near term. Yeah. And is the cost going to be similar to an internal combustion engine, or what? Uh, cost is anticipated to be higher uh, because of the, the battery system is a very expensive uh, component. But uh, as you look at the, the cost reduction, the, the fuel reduction, substantially lower cost, uh, it, it will be a much lower total operational cost. Yeah. Do you have any figures on what it's going to cost to operate? I, I didn't come prepared with the, okay, the sure. numbers, so okay, yeah. <laughs> that, that's a very good question. <laughs> Okay, so this is going to be 2023. Presumably you've got to certify the whole system with uh, the certification authority like the FAA or EASA. Have you made a 
Do you know which route you're going to go down? Uh, actually working with both. Uh, Diamond and, and uh, our team are, are working very closely with both YASA and FAA for certification. Yeah. So, thank you very much. Okay. Pleasure talking with you.